Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is part two of the scientific writing documents. Uh, in the last uh, video or uh, the lecture, uh, I was talking about the principle of composition in which uh, the main focus was to avoid the unnecessary words and the sentences. <clears throat> uh, there are a few examples that I have already discussed. There are more examples to it that you can avoid. For example, owing to the fact that so instead of writing that whole uh, uh, sentence, you can concise your sentence by writing a since or because. In spite of the fact that, this is the com habitual or the common word that most of the people write. So uh, it's not giving a scientific uh, uh, look to, the, to your uh, paper. So instead you can write though or although. Call your attention to the fact that remind you notify i was unaware of the fact that so these are the sentences that actually <clears throat> uh, are composed of uh, many unnecessary or the needless words that you can uh, omit and uh, you can transform it uh, into the more uh, uh, readable way or the more good way so <clears throat> uh, omit you can also omit there's few needless words as well like who is which was and the like are often unnecessary and most of the people they use them uh, a lot while uh, writing their uh, content or the document so you need to avoid them who is which was like so for example his brother who is a member of the same firm uh, right his brother a member of the same firm so who is is actually you're writing actually the detail of this thing his brother so you're giving the actually explanatory note by putting a comma here, I've discussed more in the next uh, upcoming slides about uh, uh, use of the comma uh, because it was necessary to uh, explain here that uh, who is this person, his brother. So instead of writing who is, you simply write his brother, a member of the same firm, then comma, and then explain what he is actually doing, uh, the, the action uh, sentence. Uh, similarly, uh, the Trafalgar, which was the Nelson's last battle, so you can write down the Nelson's last battle like this. So avoid writing uh, the unnecessary words, you need to omit them. And there are some common violation of the conciseness. Uh, you need to make your uh, paragraph as concise as possible. There is one example to it. For example, as you can see, uh, this particular uh, uh, paragraph has a lot of unnecessary words it is composed of uh, it, it has 55 words in it but you can write it in a more concise way I'll give you the example uh, of it as well uh, so first let's read it Macbeth was very ambitious this led him to wish to become king of Scotland the wishes the witches told him that this wish of his would come true the king of Scotland at at this time was Duncan. Encouraged by his wife, Macbeth murdered Duncan. He was thus unable to succeed Duncan as king. So once you read it, it is difficult to understand the basic content out of it. You have written something, but you are actually not conveying your uh, the main uh, objective from the, this sentence. Instead, you can uh, convert it into the more concise. For example, uh, encouraged by his wife, Macbeth achieved his ambition and realized the prediction of the witches by murdering Duncan and becoming king of Scotland in his place. 26 words, more concise, easy to understand. As much as the content you will introduce, you will actually uh, be giving a chance that uh, your reader get lost in your uh, sentences and you will not be able to convey your actual objective within the paragraph. So instead, write the concise. Uh, paragraph and uh, uh, by which you need to omit a lot of uh, uh, needless sentences and uh, the needless words as well. Uh, there are a few elementary rules of the usage uh, that you can use while writing uh, uh, your uh, documents in which I will be explaining few of them. You can get more uh, over the internet or uh, from the other resources. For example, Use a comma s and s comma. You need to know about it. Uh, comma s basically uh, apostrophe or comma s used with a singular noun. 
and uh, s comma used with the plural noun examples of for example users privacy preferences now once you are talking about a one user and uh, you're talking about his that the users belongs to for example uh, you, it is uh, mainly used for it a user's privacy preferences uh, preferences you're talking about one user but once if you are talking about more than one user then you need to write like that way users users there are more than one and then this comma giving that you're talking about those users well, the privacy preferences of those users right uh, so this is more appropriate so this is the way you can use the this uh, comma s and the s comma there are more to it uh, there are few parenth uh, parenthetic expressions between the commas as uh, in the previous uh, slide I, I have actually explained that uh, it is important to write the description uh, by introducing a parenthetic expression for example parenthetic expression is an explanatory or the qualifying words and it is required because uh, once you're talking something and that is new as i have already told you that uh, never introduce a new things without explaining them for example uh, there is there is a term for example a back uh, you start writing about the a back a back and you are not you're not actually explain what a back is right uh, if it is uh, i mean not worth to exp uh, to give it more than one sentence to it then uh, you can use the explanatory uh, or the parenthetic uh, phrase uh, within the sentence wherever you will use it because it has no use within your model so you need not to explain it or you need not to give it more importance but it is important to tell the readers that what it is all about right so for that you can use the parenthetic phrases and uh, the, uh, how you can use the parenthetic parenthetic phrases basically are the explanatory notes right uh, for example the best way to see a country unless you are pressed for time now this thing putting a comma and writing the explanation to it right uh, the best way to see a country unless you are pressed for time is to travel on foot actually this is the continuation with that sentence but there is something that requires explanation uh, you need to put it in the commas and that uh, you write these uh, this explanatory note way for example there is another example in 1969 when napoleon was born uh, croatia had but recently been acquired by france uh, uh, in that case you are actually introducing an explanatory note to it in 1969 when napoleon was born because there is this is important that uh, you need to explain about the uh, napoleon because in the later content uh, you must be uh, talking uh, about the napoleon uh, so with the reference to the napoleon it was important to give the explanation here so these are the parenthetic expression that you actually write and the best way to write them is to put uh, opening and closing commas and write in between them because this is between these uh, this whole sentence this was the complete sentence written in the black but uh, uh, within the commas that the thing you have written is uh, uh, the explanatory uh, or the parenthetic uh, phrase that requires the explanation uh, <clears throat> the more use of the commas is to add comma before and and but because and and but are basically uh, introducing two different sentences within the within a sentence when you write and or but uh, it's 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 uh, it's usual that uh, you are actually writing two different sentences uh, i mean the two different sentences on two different topics uh, but the, the whole makes a one sentence it is important to uh, write and and but that actually connect the two different sentences so uh, while using and and but you need to put comma before them because there are two different uh, uh, clauses that you are writing i'll give you an example then you will uh, be able to understand it. Uh, for example providing it introduces as independent clauses after comma independent clause what are the independent clauses because you have you have written something uh, in the beginning of the sentence uh, that is actually uh, if for example there are two different clauses uh, within one sentence the first one is the uh, is, is a clause discussing uh, some specific thing 
and uh, in the next sentence not not the sentence within the sentence uh, there is another clause which is discussing uh, another uh, aspect so these but this the later clause is independent it's not related to this one uh, but uh, it is important to join both of them uh, using a but clause so these are two different independent clauses and once you have this situation and uh, these independent clauses are joined by uh, the but or and then you need to put a comma in them provide it uh, provided it is introduced in the independent clauses after the comma uh, but between the independent clauses it indicates only that the relation exists between them without defining the relation the two different things <clears throat> that need to understand the first one that i have already explained that uh, there are there are two uh, clauses the first clause and there is another clause but these are the independent clauses uh, once you have the independent clauses then you do not join them with the but or and and another one is that the first clause it is dependent uh, on the next one then you need to join them with the but and the comma so in the both cases you put a comma here if there are independent clauses you do not use the but and and uh, but it is important to write them in a one sentence then you need to separate those independent clauses using a comma uh, but in this situation where you use and or the but it is basically the dependent clauses this is the reaction of the first one right let's discuss them uh, uh, with a few examples the earlier records of the city have disappeared and the story of its first year can no longer be reconstructed as you can see this is the dependent clause this sentence or the part of the sentence is dependent on the first explanation uh, explanatory note but they are both are joined with the end then you need to put a comma here before end all right uh, there, there are two different uh, uh, situation where you use an end first one is once you're talking about the several different things for example orange apple and banana right in that case uh, uh, usually uh, it comes in and uh, there is another situation when you have two different uh, clauses and uh, but they are the dependent one and you need to join them using an end in both cases you put a comma and there comes your end uh, the next one the situation is dangerous but there is still one chance of escape actually this is this is actually both are actually independent uh, uh, one is the dependent on the previous one situation uh, then you need to uh, use a but and uh, there comes a comma with it this is important okay more use of a comma such classes can also be handled in the following as the earlier records of the city have disappeared comma the story of its first year can no longer no longer be constructed that is another way uh, right you have actually used instead of writing uh, and you have introduced as and instead of the but you have used all the all the situation is dangerous there then you need to put a comma because as you can see these are the two different clauses two different uh, actually uh, the part of the sentences you need to separate them by using a comma here can also be handled through the parenthetic expression that we have actually explained parenthetic is the actually the explanation this situation is dangerous comma but if we are prepared act promptly there is still one chance of escape so you can also handle it there are several different ways you can use them by, but it's important you need to know is where to use these commas a uh, few independent clauses if you have one sentence and uh, they're in uh, independent clauses uh, within the sentence then you do not uh, join them uh, with the comma but with that semicolon for example it is nearly half past five semicolon we cannot reach town before dark this is complete it forms one sentence right but uh, both clauses are independent then you need to put a semicolon here uh, if a conjunction is inserted the proper mark is the comma as you can see the same thing can be written with the, the conjunction it is nearly a half past five and you you're putting a conjunction comma and and we cannot reach uh, town before dark so there are several different ways through which you can uh, actually use uh, the commas 
Uh, that's all with that lecture. And uh, uh, thank you very much.